Well, I grew up on Long Island, born in 56, so and youngest kid of uh, five kids. And so uh, through the 60s, as a little kid growing up, I really was exposed to a lot of music that my older siblings were really living through. So the original rock and roll, Motown, soul music, British invasion, the beginnings of what became rock music. And my parents were of the jazz age, so there was jazz music in the house all the time. So I'm kind of, uh, uh, you know, a sum total of all that. You know, those are my influences. My mother plays piano. Yeah. So you heard her playing all along and you were... Yeah, you know, we grow up sitting at the piano with her and messing around. None of us were really good piano players, uh, Not cer certainly not as good as my mom was. So, uh, And everybody except for myself and my brother had forced piano lessons. Uh, one of my sisters uh, wound up being a folk guitarist, and that was the first time I saw a member of the family, you know, as a little kid, perform in front of an audience. And I think that... I was attracted to it, and I was frightened at the same time, you know, seeing uh, your sister, you know, in front of a crowd of people playing something that you used to hear her, you know, write in her bedroom. And I got, I understood what that performance anxiety is all about, and the idea of the show that she prepared for it. Now she's doing it in front of people. She's sharing innermost thoughts and feelings with a crowd of people. I was just sort of, like, the whole thing was... Wow. Just a beautiful experience for me to watch that happen. And uh, I think all those little things, you know, they, uh, y you may think it's that one night that, you know, where you catch the bug, the performance bug, but I think it's a lot of little things. It, it adds up. And I started playing drums at nine, and, and I took lessons for two years, and then took a break from being a musician for a while, and during that time got more and more into uh, uh, Hendrix, The Who, Cream, Led Zeppelin, uh, Jethro Tull, as well as, you know, uh, I guess the beginnings of what was going to become country rock, I guess. And um, I think that, you know, uh, that, that, that sort of, uh, how would you call it? It's a foundation. You know, people call them roots, but it's more of a, for me, I think of it as a foundation. For me, it's really broad. And you said earlier, you know, you're talking about the generation of players. I really see a, a connection between myself, players like Eddie Van Halen, Steve I, uh, Randy Rhodes, Eric Johnson, Zach Wilde. We're all the same generation. We missed the late 60s explosion of the third generation electric blues players. Hendrix, Beck, Page, Clapton, all those guys. Right. We're, we were just too young for that. And then when the new music started to take over that you mentioned, it, it sort of was younger than us, and so we've never been what you would call classic rock because we were too young, and we were never young enough to be part of grunge and everything else that came after that. So it's kind of an interesting, but there's actually quite a lot of us, and uh, and we we tour the world, and we obviously there's a lot of fans that yeah. that relate to us when you think about Van Halen and 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 Zach and and uh, Randy Rhodes. I mean that was a whole movement. It it, it revitalized heavy guitar playing. Um, so I don't feel like I'm alone with, with sharing that foundation of roots. I think there's quite a few of us out there who decided to connect the technique with the soulful playing. And because we had guys like Leslie West to build from, you know, right. those, we were listening to Leslie West and we were listening to John McLaughlin, Alan, Alan Holsworth and Brian May, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, and, and Hendrix and Keith Richards. And so uh, I, I think that's why we come out sounding the way we do. Well, you have to be touched. The music has got to, you know, reach inside of you. That's what it is. So the first day I heard Hendrix coming through the radio, I remember it just like it happened a few hours ago. Wow. And it just changed my life. It's just I heard this music, and the, the room was spinning, and I asked my older sister, I think it was, what is that? Who is that? And <laughs> I think they thought it was kind of cute that their little brother was just sort of mesmerized by this Hendrix song, you know. But, and then so they said, oh, we have this record, you know, Let's, we'll play it for you, you know. And then I just kept listening to it and it was, you know, it was like, it's like, uh, you know, drinking the magic elixir and it changes your, right. <laughs> yourself from every little cell on out. So that's what it was, just hearing Hendrix that first time just changed me forever. Mm -hmm. 